Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nets and Toy Collectors, this is Starstream1988 and today I'm going to be bringing you a kind of Neo Retro review and this is your Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and this is Bandai's Dragon Zord, as you can see there. Very, very cool toy. Um, so, I'm a little bit older than some of my viewers, there are a couple of viewers at my age um, and you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but um it's kind of funny so when this show came out a little history and i think i've said this before in a couple of videos, but you know just in case first time you're watching one of my videos um welcome by the way thank you for watching um you know when i when this first came out i was too cool i was too cool to get into power rangers um my brother's 11 years um, younger than me um my mom waited you know a while to to have her second child and um but yeah so he was really into it he loved it he Still, probably to this day, actually, probably knows more than I do, um, and that that would be my brother Gabriel. And um, you know, it, it was just too cool for me to like. Um, I was in my early twenties, I guess, and um, yeah, it was just it just wasn't for me. As an adult, I, I started picking these up honestly maybe a year ago. I have amassed a really good size collection, and um, probably more than my brother ever, and then some more than my brother actually ever picked up on his end. I mean, he was a little kid, so he really couldn't afford to buy them. He would have to wait for my mother or his father to buy them. But um, but that was just my spiel, my little history on, on Rangers, I guess. So, again, as an adult, I love these now. Uh, whenever I can get them mint in a box, I do. I own quite a few now. Uh, maybe not mint in box, but at least still in box in great condition. And this one here, my wife picked up for me. So, I love you, honey, my beautiful wife. Um, she actually got this for me last month um, uh, for our anniversary, two-year anniversary. So um, I, I thought it was really cool. Um, she actually picked this up from a co-worker that he's also a toy collector. Haven't met him yet, so we haven't been able to trade any stories yet. But uh, but yeah, this is cool. So again, back of the box as always. Um, show you the side there. And I'll get it a little bit closer so you can read that for yourself. There you go. And then this is when they still came. And I think they only did this for the first three series. I mean, if there was more, you guys can let me know. And I only say that because I do own all of the... Um, the Thunder, the Thunder Zords and stuff like that. Um, and I own their boxes and I know that the numbers continue, which is pretty cool. Um, and then this is the other side there. So that's card number 15. And I'm sure there was kids back then um, cutting these out and putting them in binders or whatever. So, of course, that kills the um, the, 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 the value of the, of the toy, but who cares, right? As long as you're enjoying it. And there's a the little story there. Cool. And last but not least, the front of the box there. So again, I was very excited to have gotten this. Um, you know, if it was up to me, I, I would own all these um, in box. Um, they don't have to be mint. They could have, you know, been um, uh, opened before and displayed with pride or whatever. But uh, yeah, but these are cool. I, I, I'm still, you know, trying um, to, to get as many as these as I can in box. So, so again, you know, one step, one step further, um, you know, the, the wife helped out, which is pretty cool. So anyway, so me, my, never mind my rambling, I'm kind of just excited to be able to show this to you after almost over a month, actually, people have been asking me. But, um, alright, so let's check this out. Okay, and we're back. And there they are out of their package. So there's Mr. Tommy, you got your Dragon Zord, and his Lance Staff Holder, whatever it's called. Um, really, really nice toy. I am so grateful to my wife. I love you, baby. <laughs> it was an awesome, awesome gift to um, our anniversary and whatever not. You know, we went out to dinner, obviously, and had a good time that day. And I bought her something really nice. She wanted her Pandora and some charms. So, you know, I got her one of those. But um, she's like, oh, what would you like? Do you want a, a ring? Do you want necklace? I'm like, no. <laughs> I want a dragon sword or something. <laughs> so, so she did. You know, it took her a couple weeks. But, uh, yeah, but she got it for me, so I'm really, really happy. It actually so happens she actually works with a fellow toy collector in her store. Um, I haven't met the, the gentleman yet, but uh, that's pretty cool. So um, hopefully there will be more things to come like this. So anyway, so uh, going back to this really cool toy. Now, I do own one of these already. I think I might have shown in one of my reviews before. He is, compared to my new almost mint, um, he is dogged. I mean, he is really dogged. Um, Got some scratches there as you can see um stickers are falling apart his tail 
is broken so it's not like you can even add a new one i mean you would have to buy a whole new piece uh, and then obviously i'll show you the, t the toy uh, the the tail on the new one um and then the the big thing that happens to a lot of these dragon zords is this the hinges break and this was actually being held by um screws believe it or, i'm sorry by nails and uh, i just got rid of them i said you know i don't play with these they just stay on display so um but you know I, I, again i was grateful I, I got this in a toy lot if you've seen that toy lot um i don't know six seven months ago now it was during the summer um i ended up getting like five or six zords for like 40 bucks and they would beat to shit but um but again it, it's nice to have plus i did get a whole bunch of transformers too so let's get him out of the picture um again it'll, it'll be nice just to at least have another one for display purpose but this is the this is the the, mint, the minty one the very very pretty version um again there's this tail there in great condition the only one thing difference is and i'll show you the box real quick again um as you can see from that image there i guess caesar comes with a metallic version of that so that's pretty cool and those are usually the things that you get from the japanese version that you don't get from the american version so that's how they kind of believe it or not when they're making a couple million of these toys that's how they probably save maybe not millions but hundreds of thousands so that's probably how they they save a little bit of cost by not adding things like that um as, as obviously as you also know these are not the show accurate stickers these are the just for the toy version and i honestly don't have a problem with them i think they're cool for what they are it's nostalgic because this is what we saw we didn't know what what super sentai was until we saw power rangers and then maybe a couple years later we learned that oh okay so this is a japanese toy show um, or you know whatever uh, drama show and um, this is where these come from so i don't have a problem with it um if i had a really beat up one like i actually do uh, maybe if i can ever get a replaced tail um, maybe i would do repo labels and make it look like the caesar so i can kind of have two different ones but um but right now i mean it, it, this is cool I'm, I'm really happy with this so um the electronics do work of course as you can see that goofy ass light there <laughs> Um, in terms of articulation, I'm not really going to go through it. I'm just going to show you the different transformations that you can get out of it and whatever not. Um, so yeah, so I'm um, just kind of see what he can do. So obviously there's your Dragon Zord, and then the next formation would be you need a Megazord. And here is my, um, my beautiful uh, <laughs> helper here. And this is my um, Dragon Zord. Now I know he doesn't look very um, complete, but he is in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful condition. Um, he would almost be mint in the box. I actually purchased this guy um, from a couple towns away, a few miles away. The guy had it on Craigslist. He had put it on a few times, and the price was always ridiculous. And the next thing you know, he lowered it for less than half. So I'm like, okay. So I contacted him and said, hey, what's going on? And he's like, oh, you know, I had a water flood, and the package is destroyed. So I can't sell it almost mint in box. So I was like, oh, damn, that, that would have been nice. So I could have had one in box. So I get all the way down to his house. I said, well, you know, I kind of want to look at it anyway. I get to his house. The box was literally falling apart. So, you know, it was thrown away. Luckily, as you know, these are in um, foam. So I open it up and I'm like, um, okay. He's like, you're missing the mastodon head and you're missing the pterodactyl. And he's like, oh, what the hell? His kids must have gone through it. You know, they must have played with it or whatever. Um, unfortunately, he also did not have the um, the pterodactyl's... Um, laser tour or whatever that is um as you can see that's an original one there that's the um the starlight studios version uh, which i actually showed this probably like five six months ago i purchased this a long time ago but i didn't have anything cool to put it on these are the um triceratops horns also metal which would go there i just have to either get some putty or crazy glue or something um and then these are the um mastodons tuscan horns now i do have another um one oops here's this chest piece so this guy is pretty much i guess 100 percent complete other than he's missing pieces uh, that's missing the the horns and whatever not his tusks are really almost you know back to the original color whatever not there as you can see um, his sword is in really bad shape. So again, this is another one that I had picked up in the same lot as that dragon, um, dragon sword that I showed you. So this was nice. Um, and I actually ended up picking this up for ten dollars because he felt bad that I drove all the way down there and it, it's it wasn't at this, as described. So it was pretty cool. So um, hopefully someday I can get a brand new, almost new version of this. 
um, at least in better condition than where it's not scratched up like this guy here. Um, which, I mean, honestly, this isn't too bad. Maybe I can Google on the stickers and get some new replacements and stuff like that. Because this is obviously missing a few. So, but I want it to look original. I don't, I don't need it to look like the Caesar. I'm, I'm sorry, like the, um, uh, what is it? Zurajan, Zu, whatever, <laughs> Zu Ranger. Uh, but yeah, um, I know it's a ZYU or something. Uh, but yeah, so um, anyway, I'm blabbling here. I forget what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so what we do is we take the Dragon Zord here, and I'm not gonna get too um, technical as I'm freestyling this. <laughs> so you kind of just take this you go all the way up and this has to be on the bottom there as you can see this part right there um, you can bring this up as far as you can yep just like that um, same thing with this one bring up as far as you can and it's basically facing you like that so you can put him down um, you can leave his tail on you can take <sighs> saber tooth tiger triceratops put him to the side and you can add this right there, like that. Fits like a glove. Love these designers from back then. I mean, you can't, you honestly can't get a Zord like this nowadays, unfortunately. As of, what was it, 2009? They no longer use the Japanese modes. So, um, yeah, so unfortunately we're kind of stuck with these guys here. Um, the tail would, I believe, come off. Pretty sure. Um, then you take this here. You put his hands away, as such, and then you, oh, actually, I forgot, I apologize, you do have to take out his chest piece, and then you close that like so, alright, and then you take your Mastodon, separate him from your, from your guy here, and, um, Put that back after. And you come over here. He's so big that I had to kind of put him really far back. So it's a little a little pain in the ass. And see I keep moving the camera and whatever not. So you come over here and so you add the mastodon. As you can see, you can still see his horns back there, hopefully, maybe not. You go a little higher here. As you can see, hopefully that's better. And then um, you can actually see me right through the, the chrome. I'm wearing my flash red shirt there. What's up? But, uh, but yeah, so basically it. So here's your um, another form. I think this is your something... I really should have like looked up the name that I did, but you you guys get the idea. You know who it is. Then you take this here, take this here, put this together as such. I don't know if you actually get rid of that, but I'll just leave it on. And then you take his drill, and there's a little peg there, and you just put it as such. You could turn it on if you like. Leave it there. He has this um, kind of like holder there. And you can align it. You don't have to lift it. You don't have to do anything. You can put it on his hand first and then put it on the actual toy. On the on the lance. It's really soft rubber. So it is one of those pieces that tends to get lost though, I guess. So there you go. So that's a, that's the 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 more powerful formation when he has three zords help him out. And then the last one will be the almost I guess the ultra version so you just come over here you do have to separate everything again all right take the master on part out at this point now you break them out like this you bring these forward they basically come missile pods or whatever all right and then you still just leave the you leave the rest like that and you put away his uh, his head this head is pretty much done at this point. And then you come back here. You grab your Tyrannosaurus. We'll let him borrow the Pterodactyl's um, old chest piece. See, that's even missing the wings. This is from my, my first one, the one that's in really bad shape. Um, yep. Oh, he's not going to snap because i got to put this guy first. So we'll put that first there like that. 
now you snap that there there you go and at this point you bring these down you put his legs back on there you go and then you take this guy here and you just basically fit him so it's kind of like a dress garb and just carefully without breaking anything because I can't really see what I'm doing um, let's see what, what am I missing um, oh I did that backwards sorry I have to put that away that's why there you go and that's it and then obviously you can take these parts here and you snap them back to the, the ligaments here on the side this stays like that and th that's basically it so then that's i believe i think that's called the ultra zord if it's not the ultra, ultra zord i'm sure somebody will correct me and that's okay that's basically it guys so for those of you that did want to see this review there you go i know it's not the greatest review i kind of like half-assed it <laughs> you know to be totally honest but i just kind of wanted to get it done i got this over a month ago and i had and um, shown it to you and then again here's your tommy and he is in beautiful beautiful condition so if you haven't seen one of these eight inches in a long time um this is my old tommy he's missing part of his um his um chest you know his um chest piece there whatever he's pretty scratched up he has a lot of dance or whatever but again he has thigh movement there knee a little bit on leg his arms do go 360 he got some elbow and some wrist up and down he doesn't turn around though unfortunately and that's basically it the only one thing that they did add for the american version is they come with their blasters um but in japan i believe he came with his actual flute sword that you know calls on to um the dragon's order and whatever not so that's probably the only difference so there you go so that's basically it guys as always thank you thank you so much for watching my toy reviews for the three or four people that asked for this there you go i hope you somewhat enjoyed i know i didn't do a great job of it but i'm kind of busy i am prepping for my thanksgiving dinner tomorrow and as i said in a previous video in case you didn't watch it guys please be very very careful out there um you know we're big youtube community i don't want to hear anything bad um be safe um you know no drunk driving or be careful with the drunk drivers so um you guys take care um god bless rate subscribe share all that good stuff and you guys take care peace you guys take care later